Good morning. Today we will discuss main questions related to quant. The line graph shows the radius in centimeter and height in centimeter of five different cylinders. Read the data carefully, then answer the questions. So here we are having one line graph. This is of five different cylinder P, Q, R, S, and T. See, all of you know that a cylinder will be having two dimensions. One is radius, one is the height. Now. First of all, let us take one table, cylinder, then we are having radius, then we are having height. So, let us draw one table like this, cylinder, radius and height. We are having the types of cylinder P, Q, R, S and T. These are the different types of cylinder P, Q, R, S, T. Now, let us observe the line graph. This is called as line graph. For cylinder P, blue color one is the radius and orange color one is the height. So, the radius is 12. The radius value is exactly 12. Whereas, the height value is 21. This is 21. So, in between you can observe one line that is one point above. So, 20 above one line 21, 22, 23 like that. Now, for cylinder Q by observation you can take clearly it is 9. That is the radius. When you come for height it is 14. Now, for cylinder R, for cylinder R if you see the radius is 21 whereas the height is exactly 10. For cylinder S, this is the radius, the radius value is 23 and this is the height that is 14. For cylinder T, the radius is exactly 28 and height is exactly 14. These are the dimensions radius and height. Now, let us see the first question. If some cubes having the side of 4 centimeter is filled with P and R, then find the difference between how many cubes are required filled in both cylinder, remaining volume of cylinder or neglect. That means here what is the meaning of this point means, here we will not get exact value, we will get the approximate value. Here we are taking two cylinder, cylinder P and cylinder R. Cylinder P, what is the formula for volume of cylinder pi r square into h? So, pi value 22 by 7 into r square for P, it is 12 into 12 into 21 divided by. So, here what we have to do, the volume of the cylinder, some cubes are required. So, how many cubes we require? Volume of cube is S cube, volume of cube is X cube. So, what we should do is volume of cylinder by volume of the cube. Volume of cylinder pi r square into h. Volume of the cube, so each will be having 4 centimeter. 4 into 4 into 4. Now, 7 ones, 7 threes, 4 ones, 4 threes, again 4 ones, 4 threes. 3 into 3, 9, 9 into 3, 27. Now, 27, then 2 2s, 2 11s. So, 3 into 3, 9, 9 into 3, 27, 27 into 11, that is 297 divided by 2. So, you will get uh, not exact value approximate, 2 14s uh, is 28, 2 8s. So, you will get 148 point something, you can take 148. This is for cylinder P. Similarly, you have to take cylinder R also. Now, I am calculating cylinder R, same type of calculation 22 by 7 into, now for R the radius is 21 into 21 into 10 by 4 into 4 into 4, 7 ones, 7 threes, 7 ones, 7 threes. Now, 22 into 3, 66, 66 into 10, 660, so multiply 660 with 21. 660 with 21. So, if you take that uh, value and by divided by 64, 22 into 3 66, 
660 into 21 by 64. Let us do with 4, 4 sixteenths. Here also 4 16, 24, 64. Then we will get 25 times. 165 into 21 by 16. 165 into 21. This is 165. This is 330. You will get 3465 divided by which number that is 16. So, 3465 divided by 16. 3465 divided by 16. 16 2 is 32. 16 1 16. 16 6 is 96. So, approximately 216. So, for one cylinder P, we require how many cubes? 148 cubes. For second cylinder R, we require 216. What is the difference? So, we have to find the difference of 216 and 148. 16 minus 8, 8. 10 minus 4, 6. The answer is 68, 68 cubes. The difference of the cubes is 68. Option 2 is the correct answer. Let us see the next question. Let us see the next question. For this again you need not uh, uh, take the diagram, just you can take the dimensions here. If cylinder T is 60 percent filled with water, cylinder S is 50 percent filled with water, what is the difference between empty volume of the cylinder? Now there is cylinder T. Cylinder T the dimensions are 28 and 14 and it is 60 percent filled, we want empty. If 60 percent is filled, empty percent is 40 percent. We have to find volume, volume formula pi r square into h, pi value 22 by 7, r square for t r square means 28 into 28 into h value is 14. Now, 7 ones, 7 fourths, 7 ones, 7 fourths. So, now if you do the calculation, see 2 into 22, 44, 44 into 4, 176. Now, I am multiplying 176 with 28, 86, 48, 87, 56, 60, 14, 26, 12, 15, 3. So, you will get 4,928. Again, I have to multiply with 14. Again, I have to multiply with 14. 14, 8 is 112. 14, 2 is 28, 39. 14, 9 is 126, 129. 14, 4 is 56 and 68. So, it is 68,992 divided by 5, divided by 5. Let us do the calculation, let us do the calculation, divide 68,992 with 5, 5 13 is 65, then 5 7 is 35, 5 9 is 45, 5 8 is 40 then 5 fourths. You will get 13,798.4. This is for cylinder T which is 60 percent filled. Now, this is all about cylinder T. Now, cylinder S it is 50 percent filled. Now, I am calculating for S. It is 50 percent filled means how much is empty? 50 percent is empty. Same 22 by 7. Now, for S the radius is 23 into 23 height value 14. See 2 into 7 14, this is 14. 23 square is 529, 529 into 22, 2 nines 18, 5 10. This is also 1058, 8, 13, 6, you will get 11,638. This value is 11,638. Now, you got two values. Yes, empty value is 11,638. T empty value 13,798.4. Find the difference. You have to find the difference. So, find the difference means you should do 11,638 minus or 13,798.4 minus 11,638. 4, 0, 6, 1, 2. 
So the answer is 2160.4. 2160.4 is the correct answer. 2160.4. So we are getting exact value. See this is also exact value. 5 fourths. So 2160.4 is the correct answer. So which we do not have, so answer is none of this. We are having 0.3 but it is 0.4 is the correct answer. Next one, let us see the next question. The difference between the, the difference between the diameter and height of the cylinder Q is what percent of the difference between diameter and height of cylinder R. Now diameter and height of cylinder Q, see here diameter and height of cylinder Q is asked, diameter and height of cylinder Q. Now let us take Q, first let us take Q, Q diameter, Q radius is 9, so diameter will be 18, this is the diameter and height of the cylinder Q, height of the cylinder Q 14 the difference is 4, the difference is 4, 18 minus 14, 4. Now it is what percent of the difference between the diameter of R, diameter of R is 20, sorry 42, radius 21, so diameter 42, height is 10, difference is 32. Now the question is 4 is what percent of 32, so 4 by 32 is nothing but 1 by 8. 1 by 8 is nothing but 12.5%. 1 by 8 means 12.5%. Next question. Find the ratio between the curved surface area. Find the ratio between the curved surface area of cylinder P to cylinder T. So you have to find the ratio. You have to find the ratio of curved surface area of P to that of curved surface area of T. So first of all curved surface area formula for any cylinder it is 2 pi r into h it is 2 pi r into h. Now let us take the first one curved surface area of P is asked curved surface area of P is asked. Now curved surface area of P. <coughs> Let us check this question. See, 51365, uh, then 176 into 4, 176, uh, 22 into 4, 22 into 44, 44 into 4 is 176, 176 into 28 into 14, you got 68,992. That one we should divide with 5, 5 13s, 35 uh, 13 uh, 65, then 39, 5 sevens, then again 49, 5 nines, 45, then 5 eights, 45 fours. Okay. Now, find the ratio between curved surface area of cylinder P to that of T. Now, curved surface area of cylinder P, 2 pi r h to that of Curved surface area of T that is also 2 pi r h where you can cancel 2 pi and 2 pi just you can take radius into height of P. For P the radius is 12, height is 21 whereas for Q sorry not Q T the radius is 28, height is 14. We have to solve this one 7 3s, 7 4s, 4 1s uh, then 4 3s. 4 1s, 4 3s, you will get 9 by 14. 9 by 14 is the correct answer. Let us see the next one. Find the total surface area of cylinder S and cylinder R. Total surface area. In the previous problem, it is curved surface area. Now, total surface area, the formula is 2 pi r of R plus H. Now let us take for S first. So 2 pi r, 2 into pi means 22 by 7 into 2, 44 by 7 into R value 23 of R plus H 37. This is of S. 
now for r now to take for r r value again 44 by 7 into that is 21 into 21 plus 10 31 7 ones 7 threes 7 ones 7 threes now 44 into 23 into 37 you have to do the calculation 44 into 3 fourths 12 13 2 fourths 8 8 so you are going to get 2 11 10 it is 1012 again 1012 into 37 1012 into 37 14 8 0 7 3 2 6 3 1 0 3 so you will get 37,444 divided by 7 this is all for s yes. now if you take a r value 44 into 3 132 you just multiply 132 with 31 first 132 6 9 3 so 2 9 10 4 it is 4092 4092 now multiply 4092 with 7 7 2 is 14 then 7 9 63 64 6 28 it is 28644 now 37444 plus 28644 8 8 10 16 6 we will totally get double six zero double eight divided by seven this is the final answer double six zero double eight divided by seven option two is the correct one now let us see the next question abc they entered into a partnership the amount invested by b is three fifth of the amount invested by c and amount invested by a is half the amount of b after eight months all 3 withdraw rupees r if the ratio of a profit to that of total profit at the end of the year is 1 is to 10 find the profit sharing of b to c at the end of the year now we are having 3 person a b and c amount invested by b is 3 fifth of c that means b is investing 3x c is investing 5x amount invested by a is half the amount of b so a is investing 1.5 x after 8 months all withdraw r that means this is for 8 months this is for 8 months this is for 8 months after 8 months all of them are withdrawing r so 1.5 x minus r withdrawing means minus this is also 3 x minus r balance how many months 4 months this is also 5x minus r valence will be for 4 months now if you do the calculation see this is 12 8 into 1.5 8 into 1.5 this is 12 this is 6 total we will get 18x minus 4r this one 4 8 into 3 24 36 so this is 36x minus 4r this is also same 40 plus 20 60x minus 4r these are the three values now if the ratio of a profit to total profit what is a profit 18x minus 4r what is the total means you have to take the sum 60 plus 36 96 114x minus 12r that value is 1 by 10 now just do the cross multiplication 180x minus 40r is equal to so that will give 114x minus 12r so therefore we will get 66x is equal to 28r or x by r is 28 by 66 that is nothing but 14 by 33 so x value is 14 r value 33 we want profit sharing of b and c so what is b value 36x minus 4r 36x x is nothing but 14 36 into 14 minus 4 into 33 so 
सो थर्टी सिक्स इंटू फोर्टीन मीन फोर्टीन सिक्स एटी फोर फोर्टीन थ्री इज फार्टी टू फिफ्टी फाइव नाट फोर मैनस वन थर्टी टू सो दट विल गिव टू सेवन थ्री थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी टू थ्री हंड्रेड एंड सेवेंटी टू थर्टी सिक्स एक्स मैनस फोर आर नौ सिक्सटी एक्स मैनस फोर आर सिक्सटी एक्स मीन सिक्सटी इंटू फोर्टीन मैनस फोर इंटू थर्टी थ्री दट विल गिव एट हंड्रेड एंड फार्टी मैनस वन थर्टी टू सेवन नाट एट दिस वैल्यू इज सेवन नाट एट दिस इज फर बी दिस इज फर सी नौ वी गाट थ्री सेवेंटी टू बै सेवन नाट एट वी कैन सिंप्लीफाई विथ टूवल विथ टूवल ऐम डूइंग टूवल थ्री टूवल वन दिस वन टूवल फाइव टूवल नईन सो आंसर इज थर्टी वन बै फिफ्टी नईन आर थर्टी वन ईज टू फिफ्टी नईन आपशन वन इज द करेक्ट आंसर लेट अस सी द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन देर ईज अ टोटल वन हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी सिक्स स्टूडेंट्स इन द क्लास द नंबर ऑफ बॉयज हुर प्रसेंट इन द क्लास आर फिफ्टी टू नंबर ऑफ बॉयज हुर नाट प्रसेंट इन द क्लास आर एटीन लेस दैन द गर्ल्स हुर नाट प्रसेंट इन द क्लास इफ द नंबर ऑफ गर्ल्स हुर प्रसेंट इन द क्लास आर नईन पॉइंट जीरो नईन पर्सेंट मोर दैन द गर्ल्स हुर नाट प्रसेंट इन द क्लास फाइन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन टोटल बॉयज हुर नाट प्रसेंट टू द टोटल नंबर ऑफ गर्ल्स इन दि क्लास ओके नौ लेट अस् There is a total 136 students in the class. Total students are 136. The number of boys who are present in the class. So in this there will be boys and girls. And out of boys there will be present, absent. In the girls, girls also there will be present as well as absent. Okay, present to absent. Now. The number of boys who are present in the class is 52. How many boys are present in the class? 52. Number of boys who are not present in the class is 18 less than the girls who are not present. That we don't know. Number of girls who are present in the class are 9.09 percent. Here, 9.09 percent means 1 by 11. 9.09 percent more means 12 by 11. That means. The present girls are twelve, absent girls are eleven. So present girls will be twelve x, girls absent will be eleven x. Now the number of boys who are not present in the class, this one, number of boys who are not present in the class, that means absent. Not present means absent. Eighteen less than the girls who are not present. So who are not present? Eleven x, eleven x minus eighteen. This is eleven x minus eighteen. now all this together will give 136 if you add all these we should get 136 see 11 plus 12 23 23 plus 11 34 it is 34x 52 minus 18 how much that is again 34 34 is equal to 136 34x is equal to 102 x value 3 Exactly, x value three we got. Find the difference between total boys who are not present in the class. So boys who are not present means 11x minus 18. So 11 into 3, 33. 33 minus 18, the value is 15. Then total girls in the class. Total girls in the class is 23x. 12x plus 11x, 23x. So 23x means 23 into 3, that is 69. So how many girls are there total? 69 how many boys are absent absent boys are 15 we should find the difference of 69 and 15 our answer is 54 option 2 is the correct answer 54 is the correct answer let us see the next question pipe a can fill a tank in t hours while pipe b will take t plus 1 hour to fill the same tank pipe c which is 40% less efficient than pipe b will fill the tank with the help of a in 10 by 3 hours in how many hours by b a and b will together fill the same tank this one if you go by regular method it will take a lot of a time now you can do this one by assumption and by shortcut here what is given by b a it is taking 10 hours by b it is taking t uh, it is taking t hours b is taking t plus 1 hour 
now if any two persons are there a is taking a hours b is taking b hours if a and b combinedly they are doing how to do the calculation what we will do a into b by a plus b suppose a is taking a hours b is taking b hours a plus b combinedly will take a into b by a plus b this is the formula that you should remember the same thing we will apply here here what you should go by options all denominator is 11 all denominator is 11 so a plus b should be 11 a plus b should be 11 and a into b if a plus b should be 11 and the difference is 1 you can take one value as 5 one value as 6 then only 5 plus 6 11 5 into 6 the value is 30 so directly we can take the answer 30 by 11 hours instead of going by regular method which will take a lot of time you can go by this method so 30 by 11 is the correct answer option 1 is the correct one let us see the next question a boat can travel 30 kilometers downstream in 5 hours 30 kilometer downstream in 5 hours while 20 percent more time it will take when you travel in upstream the same distance on a particular day the boat is traveling on a particular day the boat is traveling downstream in a ship downstream in a ship <coughs> downstream in a ship it is crossing 80 meter found a ship 80 meters in length crosses the boat completely in 10 seconds find the speed in kilometer per hour of the ship the length of the boat will not consider now let us see this particular question a boat is taking so here this is related to boats and stream problem here clearly there is downstream upstream boat speed and also stream speed a boat is covering 30 kilometer downstream in 5 hours so 30 kilometer downstream in 5 hours means 30 by 5 that is 6 that is downstream speed while it takes 20 percent more time so downstream it is taking 5 hours time upstream time will be 20 percent more means upstream time 6 hours same distance 30 kilometers is covered in 6 hours so 30 by 6 that will be 5 this is downstream speed this is upstream speed so whenever downstream and upstream what is the boat speed 6 plus 5 by 2 that will be 5.5 5. what will be stream speed 6 minus 5 by 2 that will be 0. 0.5 so downstream speed is 6 upstream speed is 5 boat speed is 5.5 5, stream speed is 0. 0.5 now on a particular day the boat traveling downstream found a ship 80 meter long 80 meter length crosses the boat completely in 10 seconds so there is one ship so here boat is traveling here ship is traveling boat and ship they are moving in opposite direction we don't know the speed of the ship that i am taking x speed of the ship uh, ship is x and don't consider the length of the boat that means whenever one object is crossing another object so total distance means length of the first object plus length of the second here since do not consider the length of the boat this one we will not consider so only ship length we will consider ship length is 80 kilo 80 meters ship length is 80 since they are moving in the opposite direction boat speed is already 5.5 5. boat speed is 5.5 5. ship ship speed is x they are moving in opposite direction so 5.5 5 plus x 5.5 5 plus x since they are moving in the opposite distance so since we should we will not consider the boat uh, length ship length is given 80 meter ship length is given 80 and in how many seconds it is crossing 10 seconds we want the answer in kilometer per hour so you multiply with 18 by 5 you have to do the multiplication with 18 by 5 now let us do the calculation see 10 ones 10 eights so 5.5 5 plus x is equal to 144 by 5 5 2 is 10 5 8 it is 28.8 x value 28.8 minus 5.5 5, that is 23.3 23.3 is the correct answer option 4 is the correct one let us take the next question 
n liters of 30% milk solution is added with 40 liters of 60% milk solution as a result 50% milk solution is formed now 3n liters of m% percent milk solution is added to 30 liters of 50% milk solution which resulted in 45% milk solution find the ratio of m is to n now n liters of 30% milk solution here we are having n liters in this there will be milk and water so milk is 30 percent so milk will be three parts water will be seven parts it is added to 40 liters of the mixture of milk and water milk and water here in this 60 percent is milk if 60 percent is milk balance 40 percent will be water that means it is in the ratio of 3 is to 2 it is in the ratio of 3 is to 2 that will give 24 and 16 liters now so this is 3x and 7x therefore we are getting 50 percent milk solution that means half of it is milk half of it is water so total milk is equal to total water if you combine these two total milk is equal to total water that means 3x plus 24 is equal to 7x plus 16 why we are writing like this 50 percent is milk solution remaining 50 percent will be water so total milk is equal to total water so based on this we will get 4x 8 and x value 2 x value 2 if x value is 2 what is n value 3x plus 7x total 10x so n value 20 n value you got 20 now read the next line now 3n liters 3n means 3 into 20 60 now 3n means 60 in this m percent out of 60 m percent m percent is nothing but 3m by 5 in 60 milk will be 3m by 5 therefore water will be 60 minus 3m by 5 is added to 30 liters of water now this is added to 30 liters of water which contain 50 percent milk so half milk half water that means there will be 15 liters milk 15 liters water now again what we are doing we are combining milk and water so what we should do is 3m by 5 plus 15 divided by 60 minus 3m by 5 plus 15 total milk by total water therefore milk is 45 percent if milk is 45 water will be 55 percent so milk and water is 45 by 55 45 by 55 because 45 percent is milk remaining will be water now 5 nines 5 11s now we will get 3m plus see here this is 15 15 into 5 75 so 3m plus 75 divided by now what about uh, this one 60 into 5 300 15 into 5 75 so 375 minus 3m is equal to 9 by 11 do the calculation 33m plus 75 into 11 is 825 now 375 into 9 what is 375 into 9 that is 3375 minus 27 m 33 m plus 27 m 60 m 3375 minus 825 that will give 2550 2550 so m value is 255 by 6 so what is asked m is to n already n is 20 now m is 255 6 so we want m is to n m is to n means 255 by 6 by 20 255 by 6 into 1 by 20 let us do 5 4s 5 5s 5 1 3 2s 3 17 
answer is 17 is to 8. 17 is to 2 is to 4 is 8. 17 is to 8 is the correct answer. 17 is to 8 means 5 is the correct option. 5 is the correct option. Let us take the next question. 11 to 15, read the table carefully then answer the questions. The table shows the discount percent given by different stores on a, uh, different uh, novels. The market price of every novel of all stores is same. That means, see, these are the stores. Uh, first of all, you have to understand this point. Market price of every novel on all stores. Suppose P, store A, if the market price is 100, store B also 100, store C also 100, store D also 100. If I take Q, for A, if it is 120 means B also 120, C also 120, D also 120. The mark price is same for all the particular stores. Now, there are few values which are missing that you have to calculate. Now, let us see the first one. The average selling price of novel Q in store B and C is 255. Discount percentage given on Q is 6 1 by 4. Actually, here one point is missing 6 1 by 4 that is a printing mistake. So, you have to correct that one it is 6 1 by 4 percent less than that of R in B find the selling price of novel Q in B. Now, let us take Q we are talking about Q novel Q for novel Q since mark price is same for B and C let us take the mark price as 100. B mark price is 100, also C mark price is 100. C discount is given for 15 percent. So, if the discount is given 15, it is 85. Now, what is given and the discount percent given on Q for B, this value is missing, this value is missing. That is nothing but it is 6 1 by 4 less than that of R for B. R for B, what is the discount percent? 16. 6 1 by 4 percent less. 6 1 by 4 percent. 6 1 by 4 percent is nothing but 1 by 16. So, less means 15 by 16. So, this is also 15. Now, the discount here, this one also is 15 percent. Why? Because the discount given for Q for B, this missing value is 6 1 by 4 less than the novel R in B. R in B discount is 16. Now, it is 6 1 by 4 less means this is 15. If this is 15, the selling price also will become 85. That means, both the selling price are equal. B selling price, C selling price equal. And average selling price of B and C is 255. If average is 255, so this will be 255, this also will be 255. Find the selling price of Q in B. So, if this value is 255, this value is also 255. Why? Because there is no difference in between the selling prices. So, answer is 255. Let us see the next question. By selling novel P in D makes 25 percent profit, the difference between the mark price and cost price of P in D is 235.2. Find the cost price of novel P in B if the selling price of both the stores are same and loss earned on P on B is 20 percent. This is also very easy question by selling novel P in D. So, we are talking about P and D. For P D the mark price let us take 100 x mark price 100 x discount is 24 percent therefore, selling price will be 76 x discount 76. So, selling price 76 by selling for 76 we are getting 25 percent profit 25 percent profit means 5 by 4 where 5 is the selling price 4 is the cost price here 5 parts equal to 76 4 parts is how much so 4 by 5 into 76 you will get 304 by 5 you will get uh, 60.8 the cost price is 60.8 cost price 60.8. The difference between the mark price and cost price. So, mark price is 100, cost price 60.8. So, the difference we observe is 39.2 x. 
is given as 235.2 therefore one part is equal to if you divide 2352 by 392 you will get 6 if you divide since there is equal decimal after uh, one place and also decimal after one place there is no value for the decimal 2352 by 392 is 6 now find the cost price of p in b if the selling price of both the stores are same and loss on p is 20 percent now what we have to find the selling price of find the cost price of p in b you have to find cost price of p in b if the selling price of both the store is same here what is the selling price uh, you got 76 x here also this is also 76 x so d selling price 76 x b selling price also 76 x x value you got 6 it is 456 and loss is 20 percent loss 20 percent means 4 by 5 where 4 is the selling price 5 is the cost price now 4 parts equal to 456 5 parts is how much 5 by 4 into 456 4 11s 44 4 4s 114 into 5 that will give 570 so here we got one part is 6 b selling price is same see here the selling price of both the stores is same that means b selling price is equal to d selling price d selling price 76x b selling price also 76x 456 by uh, selling for 456 the loss is 20 loss 20 means 4 by 5 where 4 is the selling 5 is the cost price 4 parts 456 5 parts equal to 570 option 1 is the correct next question if the ratio of the discount percent given for novel r in c to a is 6 is to 5 selling price of novel r in c is 281.4 find the selling price of r in b now here discount percent for r in c and a is given 6 is to 5 now here we are having a 25 percent so 5 parts equal to 25 6 parts equal to 30 now the selling price of novel r in c let us take mark price of c in r has 100 x since discount is 30 selling price of c for r will be 70 x now this 70 x is equal to 281.4 this 70 x equal to 281.4 we want the selling price of novel r for b so b what is the value so since mark price is same this is 100 x mark price here also we should take 100 x discount 16 therefore it will be 84 x if 70 x is equal to 281.4 84 x will be how much more by less 84 by 70 into 281.4 let us take with 7 7 tens 7 twelves now 281.4 into 12 12 fours 48 12 fours 48 12 1 12 plus 4 16 then 12 8s 96 97 12 fours uh, uh, 12 twos 24 we will get uh, sorry 2814 into 12 12 fours 48 12 ones 12 plus 4 it is 16 then 12 8s 96 it is 97 12 twos 24 it is 33 so since we have to keep the point here there is point one place decimal here by 10 it will be 337.68 this is the correct answer 337.68 this is the selling price of novel r in store b let us take the next question the difference between the selling price of novel s in a to that of d is 250 selling price of same novel in c is 10 percent less than that of a find the discount of c the difference between selling price of s in a and d 
S in A and D. Now we are talking about S. So A mark price will be 100x, D mark price also 100x. So since here 8 percent discount, here 18 percent discount, the selling price of A will be 92x, selling price of D will be 82x. And what is given? The difference between the selling price, 92x, 82x difference 10x. So 10x value is 250 x value we got 25. Next, the selling price of novel in store C is 10 percent less than that of A. Now, A what is the selling price? A what is the selling price? What is the selling price of A? It is 92 x, x value you got 25, x value you got 25 that is for A. Now, we want C, the selling price of C it is 10 percent less than that of A. So, 10 percent less means into 9 by 10, into 9 by 10. Now, if you do the calculation 5 2s, 5 5s, 2 1s, 2 46. 46 into 5 is 230, 230 into 9, 2070. This is the selling price of C, this is the selling price of C. Now we want discount percent, discount percent is nothing but discount by mark price into 100. What is the mark price of C? Just now I told for anything mark price is 100x, here also it is 100x, x value 25, so it is 2500. So mark price is 2500, selling price 2070, discount given is 430, what is the discount? 430, 430 by 2500 into 100. Divide 430 with 25, that is the correct answer. We have to divide 430 with 25. 25 once 25, then it will be 180, 25 sevens 175, 5, then 2. So, we are getting 17.2, option 5 is the correct answer. Option 5. Let us take the next question. The selling price of S in A is what percent more or less than that of B? We are talking about store S, A and B. A 8 percent discount, A 8 percent discount, it is B, B 20 percent discount. 8 percent discount means 92, 20 percent discount means 80. So, 92 is how much more than 80, 12 more, from where it is more 80 into 100, 24, 25, 4, 1, 4, 3, the answer is 15 percent, 15 percent is the correct answer, 2 is the correct option. Okay, next, uh, we will discuss the reasoning in the next class.